In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today is the first day of June. We thank God who has seen us throughout the month of May, has brought us now to the month of June. We ask the same God to guide us and lead us, and to initiate all we do this month for his own glory, for our own salvation, and for the good of our brothers and sisters. Let nothing that is not of God have any hold on us this month of June. Now, this is Wednesday of Easter week 7. And today, the mother church celebrates St. Justin, matter of the church. I read this will be coming from the Acts of the Apostle, chapter 20, verse 28 to 38. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 68, verse 33. A gospel message will come from John Gospel, chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. The theme of our message today is the last words of a missionary of God. The last words a missionary gives to his flaws before he departs from them. We can see that word today, Jesus really doing that first. And then the apostles imitated him. That's why we are told that Jesus lifted up his eye to heaven and prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name which you have given me. It's not as God there. If all the people will give me, keep them true to your name. That they may be one, even as we are one. He prayed that they should be one, even as they are one. That's the last word of a good missionary, commending them to the hand of the Father. So we can see the missionary today, the last word of this missionary to God, of God accounting for his stewardship and giving his sheep the flaws trusted under him the last words. That's why Jesus was then praying to his apostles today, the sheep given to him by the Father. He lifted off his eyes and now reporting to the Father. Holy Father, keep them true to your name all you have given me. That they may be one even as we are one. All you have given me, let them be one. So as we, were, as we are one, that's the prayer for all people who believe in God, in Jesus, through Jesus Christ. So division is not act of God, it's act of man. And this automatically anti the prayer of God, Christ. And he said again, he said that they may be one even as we are one. I was with them. I kept them in your name. When I was with them, I kept them in your name. Which you, all you have given me. I've guided them that none of them was lost. Except the one, the son of perdition. For the scripture to be fulfilled. Here I was talking about Judas. He lost no one except Judas. But that was to fulfill the gospel message. And he goes on to tell the Father, I speak this thing in the world that they may have my joy fulfilled. I'm speaking to them so that my joy might be fulfilled in them. I'm giving them your word. And the word has hated them because of that. Because if you accept the word of God, you will, accept, you will, you will no more be worldly. The word will no more rule it. So we have given them the word. And because of the word, the word hated them. Because they are not of the word anymore. Even as I'm not of the word, I do not pray that you should remove them from the word. But I'm only telling you to protect them from the evil ones. And he said, they are not of the word. Even as I'm not of the word. Sanctify them in the truth. And your word is true. As you send me into the world, so I have sent them. And for their sake, I have consecrated myself. And they might too may be consecrated to the truth. You see the last words of a great missionary. Lord Jesus Christ, the missionary pays alone. 
reporting to the Father on his mission on earth and praying for all he has given him to be one. Praying that he has given them the word, the word hath them. And he is asking God to consecrate them to the truth. And his word is true. So consecrate them to the word of God. You see the prayer of Jesus for all of us. And when we are not responding to this prayer, it means we are not of him. That's the truth about it. If we are not rooted in this world, we are not yet a Christ, a Christians. If we are not consecrated to this truth, we are not yet Christians. So I consecrated myself to this truth so that they in turn will consecrate themselves to the truth. That's Jesus reporting about his mission to the Father. He said, I lost no one. I guided them that I lost no one. So if you are straying away from Christ, you are the one losing yourself, not Christ himself. He has guided you to the truth, that you, the truth will set you free. And that's why today Paul in his turn, taking the footstep of his master, he said to the elders of the church in Ephesus, where he has ministered, Take it to yourself and to all the flaws in which the Holy Spirit made you their guidance to feed the church of, of, of the Lord. To feed the church of the Lord, which you obtained with the, his own blood. I know that my, when I depart, fierce wolves will descend upon you and want to scatter you. And they will come Spreading force, sparing the flock, not from among your own self. Will allies men speaking perverse things to draw you away from God, from draw the disciples away to follow them? Do you see Paul now telling that when he lives, that fierce wolves or the Antichrist, people who are against God, will come. Say many perverse things to draw the disciples away from God. Now we explain the reason of why so many churches today are claiming they are working for Christ. And Paul foresaw this and was warning them. Therefore, be alert. Remember that for three years, if you want to separate yourself, remember what we have done in your head. For three years, I was here. I have not ceased both in day and night to admonish you with tears. For three years I have been teaching you. Admonishing you with tears day and night. I have not stopped. So remember the price that has been paid in your head, on your head. As you remember that Christ has shed his blood because of you. Now I commend you to God and to the word of grace. Which is able to build you up. He's commending them to God and to the word of grace, which is able to build them up. If they are rooted in the word, they will stand firm. That's the cost of the, the that's one of the problems Christians are having today. They are not sticking to the word. They are not really rooted in the word. If they are rooted in the word, it would have been their culture. We have been talking, we could have been talking about Christian culture. But it seems not true. That uh, sometimes live different from what the word that the word was given to them. But Paul is asking God that they be rooted in this word. I will build them up. To give you the inheritance among all those who are sanctified. So that they will be given inheritance among those who are sanctified. If they are rooted in the word. And Paul is talking. I coveted no one silver or gold or pure. You yourself knew that these hands minister to my necessities and to those of the people with me. So he worked for his own meal. He didn't take from any person to show you to make them to know that he has to be selfless to serve them. It wasn't a liability to any person, not like some of the missionaries today who are liability to the parishioners. He said to them again, as he was parting, in all things, I have shown you that by so toiling, 
one must help the weak. I've shown you by so toiling, you must take good care of the weak who could not toil like you. Remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, it is more blessing to give than to receive. After Paul had admonished them with these words, the word last minute word, he knelt down with them and prayed, and all of them went around him and wept, and they breast Paul and kissed him, sorrowing, most of all, because of the word he said to them, you might not see me again. That word really pained them. And maybe this may be the last they will see him, his face, they will not see his face again. And they wept and sorrowed. And they brought him to the sheep. And they left. You see the words of a mission, last words of a missionary. Encouraging the people, strengthening in faith, telling them of the likely dangers to come. You can see Paul taking the path of the master, the power, Lord Jesus Christ. The missionary pays alone. Mission day, the mission of God. And that's why today you can see the same is one that stood so well today. They say, you are, your kingdoms of the earth sing to God. Your kingdoms of the earth sing to God. The kingdoms of God in earth sing to God. Not the kingdoms of the world, but kingdoms of God in earth sing to God. And that's why today you can see your celebration in Justin, the matter. Justin was from Samaria, born about the year 100. He was converted to Christianity at the age of 30. He was a learned man already before he was converted to Christianity. And when he converted, he transformed his education knowledge to working for God. And that's why he, he did many good works. He taught in Ephesus. He taught the people in Ephesus about the kingdom of God. He opened a catechism school in Rome to educate the people on the Christian faith. He wrote extensively to defend this Christian faith. He wrote extensively to defend Christian faith. He described many celebrations in the church, like baptism, the Eucharist, and he wrote extensively on them. He was killed through the time of Marcus Aurelius when he was creating Christians. At the time, Matthew, Justin was killed, martyred. You can see he lived for God and left a trace of his ministry behind him. As a missionary, he left the work, has gone to the Father, but his work accompanied him. That's why we're talking about his work today. The work of a missionary sent by God. And Justin is one of them giving a good account of his ministry and has returned to the Father by shedding his own blood. May God help all of us to understand that we are missionaries of God and we must give account of what we have done and we should not lose any sheep entrusted into our hearts and we should pray for them and commend them to the Father and root them in the word of God and warn them about the dangers of shifting from the world. May God help us to understand this today through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate our ability to be missions of God, missionaries of God, as just indeed. I am the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.